Hello, my name is Asti Rastia. I'm a tenured lecturer at the University of Indonesia, and I'm a PhD candidate at Deakin University. In this video, I'll tell you about my PhD research project. The title is Sustainable Citizen Journalism Practices in Mainstream Media, Challenges and Implementation in Indonesian Television Stations. First, I'll explain my research background. Television is the main medium in Indonesia. According to Arianto and Mutmainah, Indonesian Media Studies Academics, around 90% of the Indonesian population are regular television viewers. They argue that television will most likely remain as the primary medium for information and entertainment for Indonesians in the immediate future, although the internet has disrupted the media environment in terms of regular television viewing to some extent. However, Indonesian television is very Jakarta-centric. Television news is mostly about Jakarta. They don't represent the diversity in Indonesia. To put into context, Indonesia has more than a thousand ethnic groups. Indonesia's total population in 2020 is around 270 million, while Jakarta, Indonesia's capital city's population, is around 8.5 million. The Jakarta centeredness are caused by the concentrations of media ownerships. It makes all national TV stations are based in Jakarta. These national TV stations have lack of infrastructure, permanent reporters, and operational costs in the regions outside Jakarta. Furthermore, in the digital era, Indonesian television is facing new challenges. Like other traditional media, television has been challenged to adapt to survive the significant decline in television viewers who have switched to the new media. However, the digital era also provides new opportunities to cope with the challenges, one of which is engaging audience participation through citizen journalism. When I was an associate producer at an Indonesian national TV station, we often received many wonderful stories from our correspondents and contributors outside Jakarta. I put them into the rundown. But then, when I check the videos, many of them are insufficient, below the standard, so I dropped them. This situation became one of the reasons why our TV station mainly reported Jakarta-based news. I imagine that the situation might have been different if the videos came from citizen journalists because their videos didn't need to achieve the professional standard, especially in technical quality. Axel Bruns, an expert on digital media, names the synergy between professional journalists or mainstream media and citizen journalists as the ProM journalism model. In Indonesia, there had been several initiatives of regular citizen journalism practices in television in 2011 to 2019, such as White Sought by Metro TV, Came On by Trans7 and Net Citizen Journalist or Net CJ by Net. These practices cause several advantages. First, citizens can share their local stories nationally. Second, it can create positive change in community. Third, television, sorry, television station can broadcast more diverse local stories with free or low-cost production. And lastly, citizens can improve their knowledge and skills in news production, so it can reduce the low-quality content and high risk of hoax. But all of these regular citizen journalism practices have now ceased to exist. Currently, Indonesian national private television station only use citizen journalist videos sporadically and seasonally. Therefore, this research aims to investigate the various challenges of implementing sustainable citizen journalism practices in television to understand how professional and citizen journalists can potentially cooperate in a mutually beneficial way to meet the information needs of Indonesian citizens. 
This research would also contribute to journalism studies and theories of citizenship, in particular the engagement of citizens in democratic practices at the margins of professional journalism. Next, I'll tell you about research significance. This proposed research will fill a gap in the journalism field of study, specifically the pro -M journalism model in the Indonesian television context. Also, it will provide more comprehensive data from the perspective of media and citizen journalists. Furthermore, it will provide an understanding of how citizen journalism practice can be implemented in television, which is the main medium in Indonesia that is nevertheless Jakarta-centric, in order to engender democratization of information and local regional community development, and provide an effective way for television to survive in the digital era. As a doctorate of philosophy study, it will contribute to philosophical query on citizenship identity and engagement in democratic process. My research focuses on Indonesian commercial television stations, regular citizen journalism practices. It applies mixed methods consisting of content analysis, digital ethnography, and semi-structured interviews. And lastly, here is a list of my publications. That concludes my presentation. Thank you for watching.